today we're going to be talking about five things I want to see are come into Infinite Warfare. We haven't talked about Infinite Warfare much on the channel, so I thought I'd switch it up from the BO3 content and talk about it. So, let's head straight into it. Now, the first thing on my list is zombies. I want a good zombies mode to return. I know the diehard zombies fans out there don't want exo zombies like in Advanced Warfare and just bad zombies in general. So if they add a good zombies mode into Infinite Warfare, that would make the zombies community very, very happy because zombies in Black Ops 3, the Black Ops series, was excellent. So if they just keep it up and they make zombies really good, that's a great feature that they should add into Infinite Warfare. Now, I know that's a very vague explanation, but you don't really talk about much. Like, I just want good zombies. You know, how it was in Black Ops 3 was great with the gobblegum features, liquid viniums and all that. It was great. In Black Ops 2, it was great. Black Ops 1, go back to older CODs. Zombies was awesome. So if they can keep that up, that would be great for everyone that enjoys or just plays zombies not too much or just plays it a ton. The second thing on my list is a very touchy topic, the movement in Infinite Warfare. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to see movement like Advanced Warfare. On my side, I really don't want that either. I think the movement in Black Ops 3 was actually really, really good because it was like Black Ops 2. It wasn't that much of Exos. You can boost jump, yeah, but I don't see everyone just jumping like a bunny on the map that's what i like i like the black ops 3 movement so if they can keep that up if they don't add you know jumping up to the moon movement i would be happy and i think a lot of people in the community would be happy i don't think it would be that bad and you know if they just don't make it so futuristic even though it's called infinite warfare and we've seen some futuristic a little bit gameplay if they keep it subtle they don't make us jump to the moon then I think we'll be happy. Now, if you guys disagree with me on any point of this video, it's okay. Leave your comments down below. I'll take the hate. I'll take the constructive criticism. This is just my opinion, what I want to see. And let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Now, we're going to head over to the third thing. Now, I want to see good maps. Good maps is always key to Call of Duty because if you don't have a good map, the game's not going to be good. You can't have too big of maps. You can't have too small of maps. You know, you need those perfect maps. Of course, there's going to be the bigger maps. There's going to be the smaller maps. But if you keep it kind of even, then that would be good. We don't want to see a map like Stonehaven on Infinite Warfare. So if you guys can keep it okay, that would be happy for all of us. And I'm saying, like, I'm speaking for all of us. Uh, this is my opinion. I shouldn't say that. But this, this is what I want to see. If we have good maps, not too big of maps, you know, some here and there. Black Ops 3 maps were actually really good. They weren't so big. They weren't so small. Some of them were bigger than others. Of course, you're going to get that. But if you keep it, you know, okay, where there's a balance of the small maps and the big maps, then I think we'll be okay. Heading on to the next thing, futuristic guns. Now, I don't want to see laser shooting, you know, fire blasting guns if we can keep it with the normal guns like how black ops 3 was and basically a little bit like advanced warfare they had normal guns in there if we can keep it like that that would be good because i don't want to see laser beams all over the place so i don't want to see two futuristic guns like you know battery powered guns or something like that ammo that's what i want to see ammo and the guns and if we can keep the guns you know okay not too overpowered not too you know not powered at all but of course in every call of duty you can't have balance with the guns it's just not like that there's certain guns meant to be better than the others but if we can get good guns in infinite warfare i think that would be really good last thing now this one this one's a this is a big topic okay supply drops and i know you're probably like oh they're just gonna make money off of it if they add in a crypto key system or if they add in where you can buy you know whatever the point system will be if you can buy supply drops they'll make money from that and that's what they want but if we can keep it like how it is in bo3 kind of you know make the supply jobs a little bit more balanced i think that would be okay you know where you can actually get a gun because i do enjoy the supply drops i think it's a really cool feature how you can just you know spin for a random gun a camo whatever and i think that's awesome so if they can keep that up i think that would be good not you know you don't spend like let's say 200 supply drops and you only get one good weapon or one good camo out of them all you know make them balance kind of rare out the guns and such but that everyone would be happy but you know this, that's a very touchy uh subject to talk about because some people want this some people want that 
and you can never satisfy everybody but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button um let me know what you guys think about my five things that i want to see i want to know what do you guys want to see in infinite warfare do you disagree with me on any points do you agree with me if you disagree that's okay because i'm not right my opinion isn't right i don't have any right opinion it's an opinion it's what i think uh let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i hope you guys have yourselves a great day you've been the case crew I've been Kays. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.